Last year, we started following Canadian River gun dogs when we were looking for a dog. They didn't have a litter last year, but it all worked out because we found Murphy. But this year, their dog Red did have a litter, and they invited us out to meet the puppies and learn about hunting dogs. I wanted to take Red, the mama dog, a special treat. This bone came from a deer. I hope she loves it. This is Red. She is a very good mama. This litter had nine pups. She was happy to chew on her bone while we played with her puppies. How many boys? How many girls? Five girls. <laughs> Some are trying to hop over. Red and her puppies are a breed of dog called wire-haired pointing griffons. Griffons love the outdoors, have lots of energy, a thick coat for working through brush, are smart, and have natural instincts for finding prey. They are naturally good swimmers too. These are just some of the qualities that make them great gun dogs. In fact, they are one of 31 breeds considered versatile hunting dogs, capable of being effective pointers, retrievers, and trackers. Pointing dogs work for the field, locate game, and point them out to the hunter. Retrieving dogs fetch the game on land or water and bring it back to the hunter. Tracking dogs follow the trail and send a wounded game to locate it. Wire-haired pointing griffons can be trained for excellent performance in all three tasks. Plus, they are very friendly and sociable, making them good family dogs too. At the time of our visit, these puppies were six weeks old. From the time they were born to three weeks old, their only food is from nursing. They grow quickly, and so do their teeth. So the mama begins the weaning process at about three weeks old. Their diets get supplemented with a mush, a dry food that has been broken up and watered down to make it easier for them to eat. As they get bigger and stronger, the food will be less mushy until they transition to dry kibble, usually around six weeks old. The puppy's natural hunting instincts start to kick in around five or six weeks. This video shows a five-week-old pup going on point. Kyle likes to begin exposing the puppies to training opportunities early. It fits with his style of consistent progressive training. Think of it as preferring lots of smaller steps over a greater period of time rather than trying to do too much at once and risking long-term mistakes from going too fast. At eight weeks of age, they are fully weaned and ready for their new forever homes. It's a great age for them to bond, socialize, and learn the new roles of their new home. Kyle Locke, owner of Canadian River Gun Dogs, carefully screens the families for the puppies to make sure it's a good match. These dogs need an active home to be happy. A bad match isn't good for anyone. Kyle says the dogs are very hardworking and are exhausted after a full day of hunting, but they love the action, outdoors, and companionship. He says if one of the dogs gets left behind on hunting day and doesn't get to go, it will howl and pout. Kyle also has advice for someone looking for a gun dog. He recommends finding a breeder that actively hunts their dogs and doesn't produce too many litters. After we played with the pups and asked our questions, we went out into the field to see a little bit about how these dogs are trained. Meet Rainy. Rainy is a year-old poodle pointer. Poodle Pointers are a pure breed that was developed well over a hundred years ago from German hunting poodles and English pointers. Canadian River Gun Dogs will be raising Poodle Pointers in addition to Griffons. Poodle Pointers are also a recognized versatile hunting breed. Rainy loves retrieving. Loves, loves, loves it. She got in a good bit of work last duck season and did great. 
but what you are watching here is just the beginning of her upland bird hunting training. Upland birds include quail, pheasant, grouses, and other dryland birds. Although Rainy is green, watch her natural instincts and how quickly she learns. The training uses pigeons and these special releases. The pigeons are unharmed in the process and well cared for as they are important to the training process. While Rainy is still in her kennel, the traps are loaded with a pigeon and hid in the field. The goal is for the dog to find the bird, go on point, and stay on point until the trap is released by a remote control carried by the trainer. The pigeon is then free to fly around and will eventually return to the coop. Sometimes things don't go as planned. Whoops, I guess my hand hit the release bar. A quick trip back to the coop and we were ready again. We hid two traps and then let Rainy out. Watch how fast she covers the ground. When her nose picks up on the scent of a bird, she homes in on it. The first bird she found, she briefly went on point. But her enthusiasm and inexperience got the better of her, and she went straight up to the trap. When she nosed around it, the bird was released. So she did great finding it, but needed to do better on holding point. Watch how much she improved on her very next try. This was Rainy working the second trap. We were working on a 10 acre field and it did not take her long to find it. This time she went on point and held it for quite some time. Even though she had several of us approaching from different places and at different rates, she stayed on point much longer than her first attempt. Kyle's positive and progressive training will keep her improving because she will understand exactly what is expected of her and she is eager to please. Of course, this is just one aspect of the training these dogs go through, but it was lots of fun to watch. Thank you, Canadian River Gun Dogs, for an educational and fun afternoon. Like your dogs, I was worn out at the end, but I sure had fun getting that way. See you on our next adventure!